Jeffrey Schultz here again today with another QuickBooks Pro video using QuickBooks Pro 2016. I'm a CPA out of Plymouth, Michigan, and I've been using QuickBooks for almost 20 years. Today we are going to turn on the class tracking for QuickBooks and uh, enter a transaction using class, tra class tracking. So first we have to turn it on. So up on the word bar up here, we're going to click on edit and go down to where it says preferences. And there's all kinds of icons here on the left. The first one is accounting. So make sure it's clicked on accounting and then you're going to have two tabs. One will say my preferences, the other one will say company preferences. Click on company preferences. Halfway down the screen here or maybe a third way down the screen is use class tracking for transactions. Click on that and we'll also default the checkbox for prompt to assign classes so it will remind you to assign a class every time you enter a transaction in the QuickBooks. Now we'll go to OK and now we'll go over to lists and now we have an item on the list, bo list box that says class list. So I'm going to click on that and that screen will pop up I'm going to click on class down here and say new and the first class I will set up will be taxes and I'll I'm going to cl create multiple ones so I'll say next and the next one will be consulting and I'll say next and then bookkeeping and next and accounting and OK because I'm done. So I have set up four different classes to track the revenue and expenses for those different departments for the Taxes Are Hard LLC. So now I can go into Lists, Chart of Accounts and click on Cash and Bank Checking and I can type in AT&T now and I can make a payment for a hundred dollars it defaults to telephone expense because I assigned it to telephone expense last time I paid an AT&T bill um, Then we'll have to go click on the splits so then we can then finally choose the class we want to assign this to. And I'm going to assign this to the bookkeeping class. And I'm going to hit record. And now secondly, I'm going to tab over to the deposits and type a $5,000 deposit. I'm going to click on my word bar. I'm going to click on accounting service income. And then I'm going to click on my splits. Choose class tracking for accounting. And hit record. So now we've recorded two transactions. So now I can go to reports and I can look at my company and financial profit and loss standard by class and you will see that I now have a profit and loss income statement that has assigned five thousand dollars to accounting class and a hundred dollars to telephone expense under the bookkeeping and then I have some unclassified revenue and expenses as well but this way I can now track my revenue by my different buckets and I use that by using do that by using class tracking in QuickBooks that will end today's session on creating a class tracking system within QuickBooks we, we use version 2016 but like I said I've been working with QuickBooks for 20 years and this will work with any version that you may be using as well. Thank you and have a good day.